This year, the guys at College University headed out to San Diego to take part in this year's Comic-Con. So we packed up our DVDs, our buttons and monkey professor stickers, our giant kick-ass banner, and Boba Fett. Now it's off to San Diego with a layover in Denver. Our in-flight movie, Miss Congeniality 2. Our reaction, not so good. By the way, that's Andy on the left and Mike W on the right. It was a long flight. A very long flight. An extremely long flight. So long, in fact, that Andy came down with a case of elephantitis. He didn't seem to mind so much. Here's an ad for a gadget that keeps dogs away. Although from the picture, it looks more like some sort of high-tech dog translator. Roo, roo! It's very nice to meet you. Here we are in sunny San Diego. And here's Andy's alter ego, Tad Birmingham. Tad's an asshole. We didn't waste any time in setting up our booth. I'm the one in the white shirt, sitting down. In the middle. See me? Here's another shot of our booth. Mike W and Andy are holding off the massive crowd of people. Here's our neighbors to the right. Can Do Collective. There's some pretty sick illustrators. Here's our neighbors to the left. Bunny Mouth. They had some sweet artwork and some awesome shirts. Since it was preview night, the crowd was fairly small, so Andy decided to take a walk around and meet some of the local characters. Here's Andy with Boba Fett. Here's Andy with an oddly friendly looking Darth Vader. Here's Andy with a stormtrooper with Elvis head? Andy with a large, lanky, weird guy. I don't know. Andy thought this was the real Napoleon Dynamite, but it turned out to be a blow-up doll that nerds used to have sex with. Of course, here's Andy getting choked by a ring wraith. Hey look, that's me as a Crimson Guard! And there's Andy as a Crimson Guard. And Mike W as a Crimson Guard. Yes, that's right. We're very immature. Andy and Mike are ready for action with a pack of clone troopers. That's me telling them to execute Order 66, which is to get me a bacon, egg, and cheese. We're not quite sure what this big robot is, but we all seem to like him. To really like him. Here's me trying out the virtual alien prison simulator. I didn't like it that much. I was sold for a pack of space smokes. Here's Mike W with two of the killer robots. They're this crazy band, you'll see more of them later. Here's an interesting progression of CU's eventual downfall. If you look there in the back, you can see Mike W behind the, uh, Star Wars guys. Here's Mike posing with everybody's favorite fet, Boba. But look, what's that on Boba's back? Why, it's a Monkey Professor sticker! We currently have a large space bounty out on our heads. To celebrate our first Comic-Con, me, Andy, and Mike went out to have some beers and watch the killer robots in action. They had some extra costumes, so naturally we didn't hesitate to throw them on and make fools of ourselves. Our job was to recruit more people into the bar and watch the show. Instead, I ended up creeping out this old guy. And almost got hit by a car. Here's Andy in the lobster costume. Quite possibly the funniest thing I've ever seen. Andy's first order of business, decapitate Whitey. Second order of business, a secret handshake with the space wolf. For some reason, the second I put on the lobster costume, Mike W took it upon himself to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> hey look who it is, our good friend Johnny Tidwell from CartoonMogul.com. This is the guy who got us Macho Man. It's at this point that Johnny realized that we're total morons. Dance contest with lobster guy and fish face. Andy decapitates a hippie. All that decapitating makes lobster guys sleepy. Uh, oh yeah, the reason we're here, the killer robots. Space Wolf helping out on the base. All in all, just another normal night for College University. On one of the last days of the Comic-Con, our buddy Matt stopped by to pay us a visit. And to eat a sandwich. We gave him the camera and told him to hit the con. I'm pretty sure Matt would do just about anything these girls told him to do. Uh, I think that's Matt on the right. No, 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 no. That's Matt on the left. Here's Matt holding his own with a couple of Jedi. Something about a Comic-Con badge hanging from a Jedi's neck really destroys the mystique. Matt with the Samurai Stormtrooper. It's strange, but Matt's pose makes him look more menacing than the Stormtrooper. Hey look, it's the Stormtrooper Elvis again! I don't understand that guy. We saw a lot of funny shirts at the Comic-Con. This guy really likes Virginia. But the joke's on him, it's spelt wrong. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. That's gross. This guy gets the trophy for the most obscure t-shirt ever. It's an extremely random quote from a Saved by the Bell episode where it was rumored that Kelly liked Screech. Here's some pics of loyal CU fans checking out the table. Sporting the Leia buns. Classy move. Here's me with a couple CU faithfuls. All in all, it was a great trip. We met some new friends, smelt some disgusting body odor, and had a lot of fun. Here's a final shot of us at the airport bar. We had 40 beers each. No, we didn't. 